this video, we're going to be setting up Level Blue Open Source Sim. This is an AT&T cybersecurity product, and it was previously developed by Alien Vault. Once we get the actual application installed, you'll find the branding inside is still Alien Vault. So for the deployment, we're going to use a VM. We're going to install it in a VM, and we'll be using VirtualBox. So let's go ahead and get our prerequisites ready. VirtualBox uh, URL is here. So you'll need a download for that if you're going to also use the VM. And then we also need the ISO for the Level Blue SIM installation. And the URL for that is here. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is create our VM. This is the VirtualBox application. From here, we'll click New. And we'll name this LB. OSSIM, just like Level Blue Awesome, I guess is what they call their, their SIM. And leave the folder as default. The ISO is here. Select Skip Unattended Installation and leave the, everything else the same. We'll click Next here. Base memory, I'm giving this 4 gigs and one processor. In real life, this will be increased to whatever your environment supports. But for this demo, this is sufficient for, for now. Next, disk, disk size. We'll need at least 45 to 50 gigs. Part of this process we'll go through is doing the initial installation and then running the update to the application, to the software, and that update requires this much storage space to be able to run successfully. We'll hit next and finish. All right, our next step will be, we have one more setting to, to adjust here. Let's go down to network and we'll change the network adapter to bridge. This will give us access to the internet through the existing network interface on the host, host system. So we'll hit OK and we will hit start and this will begin the installation installation process of the Level Blue open source sim. So we'll hit the, get rid of this. All right, we'll hit enter here. English, enter. United States, enter. American English, enter. There are one or two more prompts that we have to respond to. And then once this gets into the into the installation, then we'll pause and come back when it's done. So this will be the IP address for our, for our sim. So I'm going to do a dot 50 for mine. 192.168.1. 50, and this will be the whatever the, the range is on your, your private network. Some 10.10.1, some 192.168.0. In my case, it's 192.168.1, so get rid of this. And we'll do a continue, accept the default, accept the default, accept the default. And in this case, for this demonstration, we'll just use a password. In your case, if this is going to be a real in production, in a production environment, then use the proper the proper uh, best practices when creating your passwords. And we'll hit continue and Eastern time zone. And at this point, it's going to be doing its installation, which will take some time. So we will pause here and return when it's finished. Okay, and installation is complete. We're now at the uh, login prompt for the backend uh, interface to the to the sim. So let's log in with the credentials that we created earlier. So root. Enter and password. I have four gigs of RAM and one processor, so bear with me when, while we're working with this. All right, and this is what it looks like after we log in. We have a new menu here that allows us to adjust settings, reboot, shutdown, all of that. And a jailbreak system is allows you to, it drops you down into a command prompt so you can run commands from the command line or access the back end through the command line. One one thing we need to do, we have an issue with this freezing up when, it, when it's rebooted. There's an issue with it freezing up at, at the point where it says it's cleaning up the messaging queue and uh, we need to run a fix here, what, what works with me to, to uh, clear that error to ensure that this doesn't happen in future reboots. So if that makes sense, let's go to jailbreak system. Yes. See down here, we're at the command prompt. This up a little. And let's do a rabbit MQ alien vault and or alien vault at localhost. Enter, do an ls here, see where we're at. And you'll see the entry here are the directory or the folder called queues. Go into there, so let's do a Use. We'll do an ls, and we need to clear out this folder. Clearing out this folder at, at initial installation time, like we're we're at now, is uh, works for me to make sure this error doesn't come up in the future. It's freezing, freezing during startup. The error doesn't come up in the future. So let's do a rm r, and we'll do a star ls. So we've cleared it successfully, and let's do an exit back to the main menu, and let me do a reboot. 
open real quick just to make sure this works properly. Yes. And we'll pause while that reboots. Okay, so it looks like everything came back up after reboot. Uh, what, what we need to do now is, uh, at this point, I mean, this is your option, but I'm going to, going to do a, a snapshot of this stage of the of the setup in case something happens. You can refer back to to a last known good good point. So snapshot take, and this will be it will be awesome initial. So that'll be our first snapshot. We'll hit OK. It's taking the snapshot and complete. All right, let's go ahead and minimize this and move on to our next step. We'll be accessing the user interface, the web, the web interface, and we'll continue on from there. All right, now let's go ahead and access our browser and we'll go to the URL for the, for the UI. And we did a uh, 192.168.50. We'll have to go through this process since it's uh, we're using unsecured HTTP. All right, and this brings us up to our initial account creation, our admin account. So we're going to call ourselves demo, and we'll use password again. Like I said earlier, if you're doing this in production, or if this is going to be used in production, then use proper password uh, password rules. And fake fake at gmail.com will be our email address. And uh, I think that's it. So we'll hit start using Alien Vault. So we will log in with our new credentials. This will be our initial overview screen that comes up. Well, the wizard will come up, which we'll skip. And we'll do skip alien vault wizard. This takes you through additional steps that aren't aren't part of this, this video. Uh, we're only concerned today with doing the initial installation, which we've done, updating the installation, and then we'll be deploying the HIDS agent to a, to a Windows machine and to a Linux machine. And that will be the, the topic of this video. So what we need to do is go into configuration Go to deployment. This is the sensor that we have. We just installed. We installed earlier. We're going to update this so that our so that our software is current. That's always best practice. And this will take a little while. When this comes up, you'll see that the RAM usage is almost maxed out, and the CPU usage is probably maxed out it's because I, I didn't give a lot of resources to the VM when I created it in production. You'll adjust this based on what your needs are. Yep. There we go. CPU maxed out. And this this arrow here indicates that there is an update available. So we'll go ahead and click this. And download the latest updates. Let's see. Once this is done spinning, we'll do an update all. Update in progress. We'll pause while that finishes. And it looks like the update's complete. So we can go ahead and move on to our next step, which will be installing first sensor to the, or the uh, agent to the Windows machine. All right, so for the Windows agent deployment, there are two methods for doing that. One is to push it out to the system and have it installed that way through the SIM. The other method is to download, download the agent onto the system and then run the installer manually. And that's the method we're going to use, the manual installation. So let's go ahead and uh, begin this process. So our dot .24 is the, it's actually the host for the VM that I'm running here. That, that'll also be our, our Windows system that we're going to deploy the agent to. So dot .24 will be our IP. Let's check this out. Yeah, let's go to assets and groups. First step would be to add the asset, but it's already added here, so we don't need to do that. And this is not deployed. That means the, the HIDS agent isn't deployed to that system yet. So let's go ahead and go over to, to availability. Now let's go to detection, and we'll go to agent, and we will add an agent. From here, we'll select the system that we want to deploy the agent to. In this case, will be dot .24. Hit save and this will generate an agent for that, that system. All right, so this is the system that we just created the agent for. This is the option that we select to download the agent to the, to the target system or for, for the target post. So let's go ahead and do that. And your AV scanner will, your AV software will pick this up and quarantine it. So you'll need to go through whatever process your AV scanner, whatever's required to unquarantine that and to uh, accept the, the file download. So in this case, it's keep. I use Norton. So in this case, it's keep and show more and keep anyway. So that's uh, save the file to the downloads right here. So we can just go ahead and double click this, proceed with the installation. Norton scanning the file again. Go ahead and close. Proceed. Installation. Yes. Next. I agree. And I'm just selecting the default here. IIS isn't running on this machine, but going to select it anyway. It's your option to select it or not if it's not on your system. And we'll hit next and install next and run the agent manager finish. So this is the IP address of our, our sensor and the 
authentication key that was generated when this key was or when this uh, agent was created on the on the sim. We'll go up here to manage. Actually, let's do a save first, and then we'll do a manage and do a start. It says running here. Go ahead and close this. And it's been uh, my experience, or from what I've what I've uh, at this point, we need to restart the the sim to connect these to to make the connection between the agent and the uh, and the, the sensor it's showing disconnected right now we can go over to here assets and groups and this is the sensor it's it's showing connected and that's what that's what it'll look like when when uh, the connection is made the the sensor authenticates to the to the to the host and successfully connects to it at this point it says disconnected which means there's a sensor there but it's not uh, communicating with it so we'll minimize this Let's go out here to our login screen, our backend login. Password, root, and password. And let's go ahead and go down to reboot appliance, enter, and yes. And we will reboot and we will pause while this is taking place. It'll take a little while, so we'll return when it's finished. Okay, so we're back up again. So let's go back into our browser and we'll log back in. see if we've successfully connected to our made the connection to our agent from the sensor so let's go ahead and go to environment and availability actually environment detection just showing disconnected let's uh, all right so let's go ahead and see if our agent is connected so we'll go to environment assets and groups and we're showing that we're now connected the, the sensor is, is communicating with the hids or the uh, hids agent on, on the host machine the, uh, dot 24 and if it's not started after you've installed the agent you can go to detection agent and over here there's a restart agent and sometimes that'll that'll activate it and, and uh, make the connection if it's not uh, if it's not started after we so that's that's it for the Windows agent deployment. Now we'll move on to the the Linux agent deployment. This will be installed on or deployed on Fedora Linux. So let's uh, continue on with that. All right. So let's go ahead and install the agent on our Linux machine. First thing we need to do is go to Assets and Groups. We need to add our machine. That would be a .36, 192.168.136. Will be our client machine. So we'll do an Add Asset, Add Host. And it's called client. I have it pre or autofill or whatever. So use that. Client's the name. Dot 36 IP Fedora. Let's go ahead and hit save. Okay, and there's our machine. We currently do not have the HIDS agent installed. So let's go ahead and go down to detection. We'll go to the agent tab here. We'll do an add agent and we'll move down to dot 36 in our asset list. Save. And this will generate the key and all the other properties for the for the agent. Okay, and there we go. We have our client listed here, and uh, the agent's been added. Okay, so our next step is agent command line on the client and install the agent. So we'll do a wget dash q dash capital O https forward slash forward slash updates dot atomicorp dot com forward slash installers forward slash atomic and pipe that to bash and hit enter and we hit enter the default is yes and we've added the Package. The package will be added. I, I already have it here, but in this case, if this is new for you, they be adding that package. All right, so our next step will be to install the agent. So install, DNF install, osec-hits-agent, enter. All right, and we'll hit Y, complete. Now let's do a touch var. OSEC Q RIDS and center. All right. And now we need to run the agent manager and copy our key over into the into the agent. So we'll do a var OSEC bin manage agent enter and we will 
do shift I to import our key. All right, so we'll go back to our web interface and we will hit this key little icon here and we will copy this key. Go back to the command line, paste it and hit enter Y to confirm and hit enter to get back to the main menu and then we'll hit Q to quit. Right, the next step will be to update the VOSEC agent config file. So we'll do a VI OSEC Etsy OSEC dash agent dot conf enter and this entry up here will be the IP address for our for our sensor. So let's do it X out of this insert dot fifty will be the IP is the IP for our sensor. So we'll do an escape colon right quit exclamation to get out of this and save it. All right. And let's go ahead and start the agent. System control start, and that will be OSEC dash hids. And let's go ahead and do a status on that, and we can see that it's running. And we will now do a firewall command, and this will be Port add equals 1514 slash UDP. And we'll make that permanent. Enter. Let's see. Watch, I got it uh, backwards. And success, we've added the port. Let's see. Okay, so we're good here. So let's go ahead and go back to our web interface here. And let's see if we can do a restart. No, so let's uh, do what we did previously. We'll stop the, we'll restart the, the sim itself, the sensor, and then re restart it. So we'll go down here to reboot, hit enter, and yes, we will return when this comes back up. All right, so we've rebooted, we came back up, we go in here and we're still showing disconnected on our client. So let's uh, go ahead and go to the command line on the client. Clear this, and let's do uh, stop and start of the of the agent. So we'll do a OSEC hits. Let's just check this out. Let's do a and here we go. We're listening on 1514 now, which is the port that it listens on. Before we do anything else, let's run one more command on here, which will be check config. OSEC it's on, then we'll minimize this. We'll go and check our, our status. So go to detection. This is showing active, which is a good sign. And then we'll go to assets and groups and we're showing connected. So it looks like for the, the Linux machine, it takes us sometimes a little bit of manipulation to get it to, to connect properly, but we've done it and it's now functioning the way it's supposed to. So we'll go ahead and claim claim success, I guess. Uh, so let's just recap. We, we did a installation of the, the, the awesome, the level blue awesome open source sim. We did that in a virtual box VM and we installed the HIDS agent on a Windows machine and on a Linux machine and successfully connected, established communication between the sensor and the, the host, those two uh, machines. So I think we're good and so I think we'll end it here. There's a whole whole, whole bunch of functions in this uh, product so this is just, just, just a small part, this is just the initial, initial setup so feel free to download it and mess with all of the features and functions that, that it, it contains. And uh, thank, thank you for watching. Uh, as usual, subscribe, like, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.